talk a few things about MailChimp, what I learned in the last uh, month about using MailChimp, uh, PHP uh, libraries that are uh, using MailChimp and Drupal integration, so what you can do. And uh, yep, so this is more kind of explorative talk. So no slides, I'll just gonna do a hands-on stuff, hopefully uh, to keep everyone awake at that late hour. So MailChimp, uh, probably some of you used it. We definitely, if you ran Drupal conference here in Australia, Drupal South, we use MailChimp. So MailChimp is, uh, now it's called marketing service. Originally it was, uh, mail campaign and mailing service. So if you need to say, send large amount of emails, or now also personalized emails or different campaigns for different users, you can do MailChimp. It's a software as a service, so it means there is a price tag. This talk is not about actually advertising the feed, uh, advertising the service, but I will talk about some features of MailChimp. Uh, there is a free tier you can use up to 2,000 subscribers, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, if you're interested, click around. So it's a nice and yellow website, and it basically has a quite a, a couple of things. So first, there is an audience and there is campaign. So your audience is uh, your subscribers. So you can subscribe uh, someone to your email, or alternatively, you can import your audience here. So at the moment I created the account, I have three contacts, which is all me. And uh, I put in different things. So it's uh, by, by default, it's a simple thing like a name, last name, email, but you can also add quite a few things. Uh, you can start adding uh, addresses, phone numbers, but you can also start also getting uh, like categories and put uh, your audience in the categories. Uh, there are two types of categories. So there is tech, which is a flat tree, and there is also like grouped categories, which are called groups. There's also segments, but I'm not gonna cover them. So you can, uh, yeah, simple. You can uh, organize your contacts by different groups and then uh, actually use the main service thing, which is uh, campaigns. And campaigns is your email campaigns, which you can create and do. So if you're using services like Vision 6 is another popular one in Australia and the campaign monitor, those kind of three major ones, but there is more than that. I think uh, now MailChimp is trying to lean towards uh, uh, different services, like maybe building small websites and uh, also CRM, custom relationship management. But again, uh, you can find out more about what MailChimp offers uh, by just going to their websites. So uh, MailChimp has a module in Drupal and it's pretty straightforward. Module itself, if you go here, it actually lists what it does. So when you install MailChimp module on, you can have MailChimp lists. MailChimp sign up, so it actually provides you a form with a sign up, MailChimp campaign, so you can add campaign. And for Drupal 7 only, which things that weren't uh, migrated were uh, MailChimp activity and MailChimp automations. So you might have heard a service called Mon Mondrill. It's renamed now, It's um, so there is module for it as well. It's when you don't need the interface to create your um, campaign, uh, you would actually need a mass email sending without your email going into spam. So you would use uh, Mandrill, which is now renamed into like mass emailing service. So, uh, yep. And also MailChimp module for Drupal uses a MailChimp API PHP library from ThinkShout. So the last release was um, a couple of years ago, uh, 2018, uh, but yep, it's still all working. There are a couple of patches. I had uh, I installed the library and used it. So um, there are a few things that needs to be ironed out. I raised a couple of issues, but there is no communication. So maybe uh, if anyone wants to contribute as well, working on that, uh, feel free to pin me. I can 
put you in the correct direction. But here's a simple example. So we actually, uh, when we enable the module, uh, there is a whole module seed that comes with the uh, uh, original MailChimp. Everything just went slow. There you go. Modules a lot. Almost. There you go. So for the MailChimp, apart from MailChimp client, all other modules are here. So there is default MailChimp, which is you put your API key generated on MailChimp. Then there is audiences when you can create contacts. Uh, there is a campaign. Uh, MailChimp marketing and MailChimp sign up, which is, if you can read the description, marketing is an integration with MailChimp email service and MailChimp sign up, it's a sign up blocks and pages. So you can actually, if you want to create a uh, subscription, uh, you put your API key, you enable MailChimp sign up. It gives you a block. You can put the block in and people can sign up to your newsletter. Simple, very similar to what Campaign Monitor does as well. And you can go to MailChimp service and uh, uh, you can actually modify your templates. But uh, what module provide is uh, creating the template. Oh no, don't copy my key. There you go. So MailChimp campaign, it doesn't sync back. So if you reinstall it, there's going to be nothing here. Everything's going to be wiped. It also has a link to a campaigns. So if we go to a campaign here, we can see the list of our campaigns, which is, as I mentioned before, just a list of your uh, newsletters. So it has links to the audience, and here's the newsletters I created. So if I'll go back to my MailChimp and try to create MailChimp campaign, I'll get a form. That's not the year. So there are a few fields to, <clears throat> to fill. It also trying to, so it gets the audience from the actual MailChimp service and based on your selected audience, it also has which audience tags you wanna um, target or do you wanna send it to everyone? Uh, from Meetup B, you can select the template or you can generate the content. From here, how oh, you can preview it. So what it's gonna do is gonna refresh the page and show you the HTML of it, which is pretty simple. On the bottom here, email example content, simple. And we can click same as draft. So as I said, the module uh, didn't uh, get a bit of love. So there were a few things introduced in MailChimp and it crashed. So it's actually, again, the library working with Guzzle and it's not handling some of the errors. So the error, if you refresh this page, it will actually say, this email look dodgy. So admin at example.com actually looks dodgy. So MailChimp is like, mm, I don't like this email, I'm not gonna create. And this is not being handled by either module or a library. So again, it's a bit of love. But if I'll put my email in, click save as a draft. Um, it created it. You can see the error now, and uh, that's the error I was mentioning about. So it says, this email looks like a fake or invalid. Please check it. So if we'll go to our campaigns and refresh our list of campaigns, we should see our meetup for October 2020. Campaign is there, it sits in draft, and you can um, 
actually now start editing your campaign. So again, we have our text here, go. Like the power of MailChimp in my perspective comes from editing templates. It has nice, uh, this wheezy wiggy um, type editor, which you can go and uh, modify stuff in. So while it's loading, I'll show you some examples. So there is a video here that actually shows that here's your design, you click on it, you, you drag the block, can uh, enable the preview mode. You can drag your RSS items. And Vlad, any chance to make the fire? Is it better? Yes, yes, thank you. It was. That's great. Thank you. Cool. So, yeah, uh, you have a block. It's probably loaded now, so we can. Yeah, ready to go. So here we go, because we actually hmm, placed it here. It gives us just Im example email content. But here's Mail Studio, which you can go and uh, add other stuff. We can also choose switch template and use one of their templates. So again, select the basic layout. And then as I showed you in the video, it gives you an ability to drag and drop some stuff. So apart from that, like that's, that's all your standard, you know, uh, you can click on it. Edit, you have a WYSIWYG editor, and you can come here, you know, and add some stuff in. The interesting bit comes where you can actually, uh, it's called merge tags, but it's, uh, it's a variable. So you can actually use specific variables that user provided uh, in the form that you created in here, making it personalized. The simple email is the first name, last name. So you can, hello, Vladimir, this is email specifically for you. Uh, so, that's all kind of cool. Another cool thing I found is uh, RSS integration. So as you can see here, if we go back to our campaigns, uh, go MailChimp, go back to the campaigns. As you can see, the uh, campaign we created, it's a standard campaign. So you shoot it once um, and off it goes. And then you see the statistics, how many people click on it, how many people view it. Uh, did anyone follow the links? Standard marketing stuff. But the interesting bit is um, there is also RSS campaigns, which a module doesn't have integration with, with yet. So an RSS campaign is here. And what it can do, it can uh, read your RSS feed from your um, uh, website, for example, daily. And people can subscribe to it. And daily it would say, if there is a change in RSS feed, for the last 24 hours, so it can be daily, monthly, weekly. Um, it would shoot them an email saying, here's the updates. And you can modify uh, your RSS feed based on the variables. Uh, and this article. So you can actually use something like feed block, uh, description, URL, and all that. Uh, so you can provide URL for your feed a specific category and put it in here. So again, there is documentation on MailChimp side, but I found it fascinating. Uh, but as I said, there is no integration with RSS campaign in the existing uh, MailChimp module. Uh, I dig a bit more around about um, around the internet about MailChimp, and I found that they actually uh, start doing their own libraries. In fact, they created libraries for 
JavaScript, uh, PHP, Ruby, and Python. So now they call, it looks like there was a bit of a rebranding. So there is a big list of APIs you can do. And uh, they call it MailChimp Marketing PHP. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. That may be worth exploring and maybe package it as a different module because it uses different library. And there is all these new tools that kind of um, might be completely different from the vision of original module creators. Uh, one of them would be uh, maybe syncing the uh, syncing the tags between taxonomy uh, terms and the uh, actual tags in Mailchimp. Another one actually creating this RSS periodic feeds from from within Drupal and then going to uh, Mailchimp or integration with RSS feed from the views. Uh, RSS feed would go and create a template straight away for you. So um, you don't have to go and do it all manually. So I created the placeholder module called MailChimp Marketing. I'll probably post a few things about it. So if you feel like you have a spare hour or two, or if you want to contribute, I'll probably be doing some work on it in the next couple of months. So if you're interested in uh, learning a bit of uh, module development, uh, jump on this page or pin me. And uh, yeah, that's kind of a short uh, talk about what MailChimp is, what some of the features are. Two libraries I listed again. Uh, so ThinkShout MailChimp API, which used by uh, MailChimp module. So this MailChimp module, it's available for Drupal 7 and Drupal 8. Uh, there is a number of issues, but as I said, there's not many responses. So I would like if anyone knows anyone who is responsible for this module, let me module let me know. Uh, I don't mind helping them releasing it and doing a more updated version. And also, as I said, there is a new PHP library my Mailchimp on GitHub, and I uh, created a placeholder module called Mailchimp Marketing. What I also start doing while creating this MailChimp marketing, I started updating the MailChimp marketing APIs with the examples of PHP because some of those things are, get a bit complicated when you uh, pin the APIs. So I, uh, yeah, I start putting the examples in. It's at the moment sitting currently on my GitHub. So if you feel like, you know, Digging the some PHP code is not your thing, but you like to contribute a bit to documentation. Again, um, it's all out there in GitHub. Pin me in, um, see if you if you're interested in, especially if you are using the Mailchimp library. <laughs>